Buckingham Palace Blues is the third novel in a series about Inspector John Carlyle, who is a policeman who lives and works in central London. The story begins when Carlyle is out jogging one day and he discovers a girl wandering lost in Green Park next to Buckingham Palace. As he tries to discover who she is and where she's from, he gets drawn into a world of people trafficking and exploitation that goes all the way back to Buckingham Palace itself. Early in his career, one of Carlisle's postings was at Buckingham Palace. He had a short and very unhappy stint there and left under a cloud. As he goes back to investigate some of his ex-colleagues, he understands very well the working of the police in the palace and some of the criminality that's going on, and he understands what he's up against as he tries to discover who this girl is and where she came from. In this book, it's personal. He finds a girl, she has been exploited, he is trying to sort it out. One of the consequences of that is that some of the judgments he makes, some of the situations he puts himself into, are more dangerous than in previous books. London is a character in the book as much as Carlyle or anybody else. It is a place where you see great extremes of wealth and poverty, hope and despair from some of the nastier parts of North London to Buckingham Palace itself. But for a local like Carlisle, equally important are all the cafes and all the diners, the places that he can slip into in the middle of the night or at five o'clock in the morning when he wants his macchiato and his raisin day. One of the key stories in this book is about child trafficking and Eastern European prostitution. This story is also about the way in which organized crime interacts very closely with what you can consider to be polite society.